mold is so much moldier than just mold. It's because it's British mold. The Owl House fandom, tell me someone has written the AU where Rain asks Ida to marry them and Ida is all like, oh, I would love to, but technically I'm already married. And the gang has to go down to Gravity Falls, Oregon to get Stanley Pines to sign the divorce papers. That's not canon? Oh, I... I think I maybe missed the birth of the beast talk after all. I don't remember this part. I don't know why making local friends is so hard, but it really is. Especially for someone who doesn't go to bars. It's like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Go up to someone at Walmart and be like, Wow, I use that cake mix too! Go off, bestie! Let's grab dinner! What if Mothman just got stuck in a lighthouse one day and that's why we haven't seen them in a while? Oh. Oh no. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. No one is impressed by our loud-ass car. Actually, we talked about it and we all want you dead. Unless your car is loud by accident, then we, we'll give you whatever money you need to stop it. Behold, Norwegian forest cat chasing a fox. Did you mean two best friends on an important adventure? Pretty sure this is an anime battle. Snom fact number 18. Snom's body shape is listed as serpentine. This is incorrect. Snom's actual shape is shaped like a friend. Who says snakes can't be shaped like friends? Oh, to be a bear. Eating salmon, attacking campers, eating campers. You don't have to be a bear to do that. I want to be a fucking bear. Too many people are starting estrogen or testosterone when they should start by opening the forbidden grimoire. H-I-T, hexes, rituals, and tomes. If you hear some jingle jangling during these recordings, it's because Jojo has turned my new sound booth into her playroom, so... That's good. Financial note. Money isn't everything, but it comes in handy when you're trying to live. News Journal, Mansfield, Ohio, May 6, 1929. Whoa, boy, it's May 1929, and I sure hope nothing happens to affect the value of money anytime soon. Be honest. Are you guys only hanging out with me because of the prophecy? No. I'm already living in a time loop. It's called being employed. Two men sitting in a hot tub, six feet apart, because they're having a lover's quarrel. <gasps> oh no. Props to a friend for this one. I'll call them Spade. So Spade and I were chilling at their house for whatever reason, and we decided to make s'mores. Whenever we hang out, we always have a tendency to share whatever's been piquing both of our interests. So I finally talked about P.M. Seymour. <gasps> That's me. Because it had been a bit too long. Long story short, we had a binge compilation on the TV, and Spade brought our s'mores in the living room on plates. When they tried to eat theirs, the marshmallow was so melted it stuck to the plate. So he proceeded to say, out loud, Oh no, my, my PM s'more. There was a moment of silence, and then five minutes of pure laughter. This led to me making this post. Well, I feel like we should really honor their memory, so let's have a moment of silence. And I mean it this time! Snarky YouTube comments I remember from last video. Okay, here we go. Does anyone actually know how long you're supposed to mourn for a s'more? 